working. Pull it up real quick. Oh, I feel sick. Hi. Hi, Serena. Um, let me pull this up real quick so I can see my comments easier. Let's see. Hi guys, Colleen's in labor and I knew it. Oh my gosh, I have issues. I am actually, listen, I knew she was pregnant. I knew she was having a boy. I knew that other things. And now I woke up this morning, I was really sick, I couldn't sleep. And I finally fell back asleep and I took a nap. And while I was napping, I had a dream that Colleen was in labor and I woke up and I'm like, there's no way she's in labor. She's not due for three more weeks. And then I open Instagram and she's in labor. So it's kind of scary sometimes. My dreams are psychic. It's weird. Hi guys. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, shut up Casey. I love you. <laughs> we already knew you had issues. <laughs> Like, what the heck? That doesn't happen. It's so weird. Oh, did people tag me? I haven't checked that yet. I just know that I opened it and it was on the front of the thing. Oh, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Like, I'm, I'm going to cry. I'm already crying inside. very uncomfortable. I'm on my period, so it's not very fun. Um, you tagged me. Uh, I hope, what's your name? Jaina? Jane, Jainer. Oh, you better know when I'm in labor. I thought I read that wrong. I thought you said, you better know who I am. I was gonna tease you about that, but never mind. You better know when I'm in labor. I will, guaranteed. It's Freaky. She's not due for three more weeks. Like, why would I dream three weeks before she's due that she's in labor and then wake up from my nap and find out she's in labor? That's not normal. I have issues. Why did I dream she was having a boy and so she's having a boy? Why did I know she was pregnant way before she even announced it? Why do I predict when people die in my life? How come I always dream that they die right before they die? Anyways, hi. You and Morgan are due on the same day. I knew it. I'll let you guys know what that day is when I find out. I know everything. But I even dreamt like genders of my nieces and nephews, pregnancies in my family. Like it's just weird. I don't know why I'm what I'm doing dreaming about her. I must really like her a lot. <sighs> she's she's a she's an amazing human. She feels like she's my best friend, even though she has no idea who the crap I am. So it's okay. You're up to 520. That's great. So if you guys have not donated yet to Lemons GoFundMe, please go do so if you can. Um, if you want to go do it right now, I'll give you a shout out once you've done it. Um, She's up to 520 now. She needs a thousand. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Brianna is Lemon. We call her Lemon because she called herself Lemon Berry after my birds. And then she would come on Instagram live all the time when we all just kind of, I started calling her Lemon and we all still call her Lemon. It's weird. And, but it's adorable. It's my favorite. Colleen's in labor. Where have you been, Tony, Tony? Um, and... Anyway, she's incredible. She's like a little sister to me. And Megan, who you guys met at CBX Live, she flew in from Tennessee for it, has offered for Lemon to come and stay with her for the holidays, for Christmas, um, because Thanksgiving, Lemon was all alone. And for Christmas, it's either she's going to be alone again or she's going to have to go and spend it with her abusive family members, that's all I'll say just in case again, and or if we can get her to the 
the United States to spend it with Megan. So please go donate. This is very, 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 very much worth it. If you want to get me a Christmas present, please go donate right now. The link is in my description on Instagram. Can someone post the link here? Lemon or... Yeah, Lemon, can you post the link here so that they can know? Um, you can also check in the description of... Which video was it? I forget which video it was, dang it. Oh, the doppelganger video, I think, is where I put it. Yeah. So you can do that, too. Um, and she's just an incredible human. She's been through a lot in her life. She's been through so much abuse and foster care and and just a lot of other hardships in life and personal stuff and mental stuff. Like, she just, she really deserves a break, you know? She's really been going through it, and she's really trying to get herself through school, and it's very stressful, and so, anyway. So, yeah, even if you can donate a dollar, five dollars, whatever, please do. She's very deserving. That's what you can get me for Christmas if you want. Um. Aww. Is that Hallie B? Why does it look like that? Is that words that I don't know? I don't know those letters. Hallie B. How did you get those cool letters? Said, my depression has been really bad lately. You helped to cheer me up. You're sweet, but my depression's been <laughs> real bad lately too. So I'm glad, and you just cheered me up. So I'm glad that even though we're both really depressed, we can still cheer each other up. That says a lot. So we're pretty cool humans, I think, in my opinion. Just saying. How can you help with Lemon? You can go and donate. She's going to post the link any minute here. She's probably went to get it. And if you, or you can go to my Instagram and it's in my bio. The link is in my bio. You can donate there. Come back and let me know if you donated and I'll give you a shout out. Um, let's see. Yay! Good job, Casey. I'm proud of you. Um, you're trying to ignore depression, pretend it's not there. That's all I need to do sometimes. <gasps> Where was it? Dang it. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Oh, you can't post the link on here? Rude. I wonder if I can hurry and somehow put it in my description. I bet you I can. Wait. Let's see if I can. Edit. Oh, I think I can. Okay. Hold on. Uh... Donate to Lemons. Let me go find the link. Hold on. Um, let me answer a question while I'm doing that because this is probably really annoying. I'm just like ignoring you guys. Someone asked me a question. I type like a grandma. Shut up. I know. I only type with one finger. Good for you, Katie Jo. Eating for the third time today. Look at you, you little rock star. Looking for a question. Someone give me a question. Funeral is Saturday at 11. Oh, I need to read that. Hold on. Wait, what just happened? What is wrong with this thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Wait. Guys, my iPad's acting up. Can you even see me? Crap. Why does this happen every single time? There we go. Am I here? Can everyone see me? Can everyone see me and, and hear me? Please tell me you can. Can everyone see me and hear me? Yes, it's working now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. I don't want to have to restart it. Okay. Okay, so someone give me a question while I set this up. 
Wish I could say thank you to no good. Cause I'm pressing end here. Okay, share. How do I do this? I'm so slow. I'm so old. Copy. Hold on. Hold on. Paste. I think that's it. Okay, so the link is now in the description of this live stream. So if you want to go donate to Lemon, please go do it, and I will give you a shout out. Come back and tell me, and I'll give you a shout out. Back, come back and tell me that you donated. And I, by the way, I will be having um, Lemon check for sure. Not that I don't trust you, but you never know. Just she'll be checking if you donated, and then I'll give you a shout out. And maybe, maybe I should say I'll answer any question that you want if you donate to her. Except the one question that you all want to know. But you can ask me anything else other than what's your secret problem. But anything else you can ask me, okay? So you have to donate and then you can ask me anything. Um... Favorite holiday movie? That's from the field hockey. I guess I don't have to say that anymore because people can watch the comments now as the live stream goes, right? I don't know. Favorite holiday movie? I have so many. Why did I pick this? I hate favorite questions. Why did I pick a favorite questions? I hate them because I love all movies. I love all the things. Never mind. I can't answer it. Um... Morgan Rose said, what are your plans for Christmas Day? We usually get up early and we open Santa presents together because me and Danny still do Santa because we're children. And um, and then we go over to his family's for breakfast slash lunch slash hang out, open presents, play games, blah, blah, blah. Then we go to my parents in the late afternoon usually and eat dinner and open presents and play games and blah, blah, blah. And then sometimes we go back. Like this year, we'll probably end up back at Danny's parents' house after my parents to play games because a lot of our Christmas activities are happening the day after Christmas in my family this year because my brother and sister are coming up and coming down the day after Christmas. So we're saving a lot of our activities for that day. Do you like musicals? I do surprisingly not as much as you would think knowing how much I love music and I love singing and I was like a part of a bunch of musicals growing up but watching it on a movie is hard for me I'm very picky when it comes to movie musicals musicals in person like theater are fantastic but movie ones I have to be in the mood to watch that's why everyone's like did you watch Glee were you a fan of Glee because you would love Glee, you would love Glee. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Because if I wanna watch TV, then I wanna watch TV. Or if I wanna watch a movie, I wanna watch a movie. I don't wanna watch a musical. If I wanna watch a musical, I get tickets and go watch one in the theater. Or there's a few musicals that I do love in the movies, such as, um, Greatest Showman, love that. Um, now I'm not going to be able to think of any Muppet Christmas Carol. Any Christmas ones I like. Um, now I'm not going to be able to think. But I know there's some that I like to watch as movies. Um, okay, Mary Burgess donated. Thank you, Mary. Mary, that was probably Mary, right, Lemon? Thank you so much, Mary. Do you want to ask me a question? Because you can. You've bought the right to ask me anything you want except what's your secret problem? Do we get the birds presents? Yes, we do. Look, Lemonies even has a little stocking. We're in the middle of finding matching ones for the other two, but we've, but yes, they get, we usually just put a little thing of treats in there. It's no big deal. Um, okay, who am I looking for? I'm looking for uh, Mary, Mary Burgess, if you have a question, I will answer. I know, right, Lemon? You're welcome. Hi, Christy. Uh, I'm on my period and it hurts. Uh, 
I used some prayers. I'm in so much pain. And on top of it, my depression is getting the best of me. Love you, Shani. I love you, too. I'm so sorry, Christy. Hugs to you and love to you and all the things to you. And I will totally pray for you. Aww. Mary, if you don't ask me a question, then I'm going to move on. If you have a question, maybe she left. <laughs> Um, anyway, you don't miss periods. Me either. I get double or triple the periods. It's really fun. How's your night? My night is okay. I'm not great physically, but mentally I'm doing okay. Only because Colleen's in labor. That really cheered me up. Like, seriously. And now I'm just in terrible... My periods come, oh, I was going to tell you guys, what the heck, I'm so dumb. I'm not dumb. I forgot to tell you at the beginning of this why I haven't posted the last couple days. Um, I'm still watching for Mary, but she might have left or something. Mary, at least let me know if you're here and you don't have a question, let me know so I don't watch for it anymore. But anyway, um, I have endometriosis, and so when I don't go get essentially scraped out, for a while, which for me it's been about 10 years. Uh, um, I get really, 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 Oh, Mona, thank you. Mona just gave me $2 for being a queen. You just made my whole day. That's so sweet. You're just making my whole day of all the times of the places. Daddy will be so excited. You're just so sweet. Thank you, Mona. Um, no, but I, I get my periods uh, a lot. So like at least two to three times a month. This is my third one this month. So really fun. And that's where I've been the past couple days. I've been fainting a lot. I've been sick a lot. I've been throwing up a lot. I've been just in really bad shape physically because I'm losing so much blood. So that's why I'm on the floor, by the way, in case I faint so that I don't hurt myself. So you're welcome. But yeah. Um, I'm in the UK. Can I donate to you? Yeah, I think so. I, I'm pretty sure. Go click on the link in my dis in the description of this live stream and see if you can. I'm sure you can. I don't know. Do you agree with feminist and body positive? Uh... Yeah, obviously, but um, I don't like it when people are too feministy. That makes sense, like too much that it becomes obnoxious. But I don't know how to explain what that is, how that is. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But yeah, of course, I support every. I support body positivity so much, and I support feminist. Fem feminism, but I also think that sometimes, sometimes some feminist groups out there get a little bit too, um, a little bit too offended or too, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but like too hateful towards men or something. And men are great too. And I know that men dominate the world, or at least they have in the past. It's totally becoming a woman's world now, let's be real. Um, but not all men are dicks like that and not all men treat women like that. So sometimes that makes me mad when some of those feminist groups will be like, yeah, men suck. All men suck. Um, I just, I hate men. They get away with everything and they get to lead everything in the world. And what about our rights? What about us? Blah, blah, blah. Cause sometimes I'm like, yeah, but we have special things too that men can't do. Yeah. We can't, you know, like we can, we can make babies. We can make a baby in our bodies and grow it and deliver it. We are kind, generous, little nurturing souls. We have a lot of things. Well, a lot of men are too. That was a bad example. But you know what I mean? We have a lot of things too. Both men and women are great. Just calm down a little. It's fine to be a feminist. I love feminists, but I just don't like when they get too carried away. It's like annoying. Like, just let it, like nobody, 
nobody's being that bad, really. And if they are, then great. But most, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel bad for men because they get such a bad rap from some of, not all, some of those feminist groups just go above and beyond to like hate men. And that makes me mad. So anyway, but I do agree that all people, men and women should have equal rights. So yes. Um, let's see. Ah. Am I going live on Insta later? I think so. Yeah, probably. I hope so. We'll see. I don't know. Because if Danny's filling up to it, I might spend time with him when he gets home tonight. Oh, there's Mary. I don't really have a question, but I just want you to know that you inspire me to do better. I really appreciate everything that you do. Thank you, Mary. That's so sweet. Did you know that Mary is my middle name? We're practically family. Just saying. I love you too. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. And thank you for donating to Lemon. That's the best. Guys, if you want to go donate to Lemon's GoFundMe, the link is in the description of this live stream. And if you do, you can come back and you can ask me anything you want and I'll answer it. So please go donate. I'll give you a shout out and I'll answer whatever question you have. Because that's what I want for Christmas. That's what you can get me for Christmas. Mary is a beautiful name. Thanks, Tiffany. I agree. It was my grandma's name, so. Mary Esther was her name. I love the name Esther, too. I know, Colleen's almost gonna have... Can someone check for me? Has she had the baby yet? I haven't checked in like half an hour. Can someone please go check if Colleen had her baby yet? I guess I can check. I have a phone right in front of me. I'm really smart. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Come on, Colleen. Come on, girl. I have a feeling they're gonna have to cut that baby out of her because she is so, so small and that baby is already over eight pounds. She's not even due for three more weeks. I'm so excited for her. Okay, I'm not seeing any updates yet. Oh, I haven't checked Twitter. Does anybody check Twitter? Yeah, if she had gone full term, her baby would have been 10 pounds at least, like probably 10, 11, 12 pounds. Like, it's crazy. And she started as a little tiny, don't be triggered by this, calm down. I just know that she once weighed like 110 pounds and now she weighs like as much as me. For her, that's a big deal. She gained a lot of weight in her pregnancy. I think she gained like, wait, I shouldn't tell you that or I'm gonna tell you how much I weigh. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, that poor little vagina of hers is going to be destroyed. Her hips were this big before she got pregnant and they had to stretch. That Like, I feel bad for tiny girls. I'm made to make a baby. My hips are like as wide as can be. But those tiny girls that have nothing get pregnant and then they're in so much pain because their entire body is having to move and break apart and make room and where she's even having like an extra big baby, it's like, I feel bad for her. Like, I feel so bad. I hope they just, it's horrible to hope for a C-section, but I'd rather they, I'm like, they should just cut that baby out because she's not, she's not gonna be able to del deliver that thing. I hope she does, she wants to, but okay. Um, tweets, anything? <gasps> oh, that's what it was, okay. Well, no recent tweets. Three hours is the last one. I wish they would keep us updated because then we could like stay on this live stream until she has a baby and you guys can see my reaction because I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. I'll probably start crying anyway. It's really weird how you get connected to people that have no idea who you are. You guys tell me 